What's going on guys, Chris Hardnick here. And today, if you could guess it, we're going to pick up another car. You could probably guess what kind of car we're going to pick up, but it's okay because we need one. So listen to this, I got a little bit of a story. August, I saw this car on the marketplace. It didn't have a price, it was crashed. I wanted to start this whole flip game and I was like, I'm just gonna offer this dude 600 bucks. So, offer him $600 for this car, he was like, nah man, I can't do anything less than 750. At that point, I just kinda ignored him because I was like, all right, I'm going to Connecticut in like a few days, like I don't really need this car. So, I just decided not to get it. I get back from Connecticut, I'm, I go back in the marketplace, the car's still there. And I'm like, yo, you ready to go under 750 yet? He was like, yeah, I'll do 600 now. And I was like, you know, man, honestly, I was willing to pay 600 before, but now I'm only willing to pay 500. And after that, we were like, we were supposed to meet and it never went through. So another, another month went by. And the other day, I saw this thing still on the marketplace. And at this point, I'm just angry. I'm just like, I'm like, how has this car not sold yet like i'm just literally going to buy it just because i'm so sick and keep seeing this thing in the marketplace and it's cool because we need the drive shaft we need the plantation beam and everything and i know for a fact i can make all of my money back so it's not really a loss hopefully this thing's just not a complete jalopy i i asked if it runs he said that the radiator got damaged so it doesn't but radiator being damaged doesn't mean it doesn't run so i don't know i don't i have no idea what i'm getting myself into right now i just drove 50 minutes away but we're about to be there so we're about to find out let's do it all right guys well we did it we bought another jalopy and i guess the hood flew up on the highway because it was in a front end collision so i guess the locks don't work if the windshield is cracked i really don't care because we're gonna be getting rid of the shell tonight so here this thing is i think it's a 92 mazda miata as you can see, someone decided to go under a semi truck and crash. So right now, the dude currently says it doesn't run. I assume it's just from a dead battery. I want to try to get this thing running before I go ahead and take it apart. But it has a lot of stuff that I need. Like, I don't know if I told you this already. I think I might have given you hints, but I'll just tell you. I want to make the SR20 Roadster black. I think it's time to change things up a little bit. So now we have a black fender here. As you can see, it's a, in really nice condition. It's just gonna need to be resprayed. We have two black doors that are honestly in great condition. We now have a trunk lid. The other one was rusty. Um, we do have another bumper. So we have two bumpers now. This one's a little messed up, but so is the other one. We got these wheels. So I bought this car for 500 bucks. And if the engine runs, that's worth four or five hundred dollars all day. These wheels, they have brand new tire. You can easily get two hundred dollars for those. It still has a catalytic converter. Um, I already confirmed that that's worth a hundred dollars. And just like miscellaneous stuff like door panels, you can sell for like a hundred bucks, fifty bucks, whatever. I really don't know, but I am pretty confident that I'm gonna make all my money back with using all of the parts that I need. And it still has a transmission. It's got the engine. It's got all the parts. You could sell that cam angle sensor for a hundred dollars alone. So there's just a bunch of stuff that this stupid windshield crack. Wow, I'm impressed. But yeah, this is my buy. My favorite thing about this car was the not Nardi shift knob until I found out that it was broken, so that sucks. Oh, damn it! They're all like that, man. I was about to say I'm gonna put that in the SR20 Roadster because everyone bitches at me because my torque is just too amazing and it always flies back, but I guess that one's broken too. But this is cool. We can use this for the blueberry because it has a little crack, so that's cool there. And yeah, I mean, me and Courtney were at Chipotle right now, so I'm gonna go eat. Marcus is already at the shop. He is ready to help me tear this thing apart, and I am ready to get that NB running. Don't really know how far we're gonna get today, but we'll see. Gonna eat some Chipotle. Dang, I kind of dig this thing. A little low with a hard top. Hell yeah. I like it a lot, actually. Shout out to you. Little life hack at Chipotle. Always get a bowl and then ask for your tortilla on the side because the tortilla is free and you get more in the bowl. So you end up paying less for more and you can just make your own burrito. It's pretty easy. Like, look at this. I'm making a burrito right now and look how much stuff I still have. Same with her. Makes a burrito, puts it there. They always just put too much in your burrito and it always just ends up ripping like a nightmare. She doesn't know what she's doing with the rest of her app. I forget how to fold a burrito. I got burrito. you. Second burrito. Look how much I still have left. It's incredible. Save money, live better. Cheat Chipotle. And just like that, you leave Chipotle satisfied and you still got some dinner. Follow the life hack. There she is, she made it back home. What do you think of the new whip, dude? I mean, this one isn't even as bad as the other one. What are you gonna take it apart for? It's shot. I don't, I don't want another Miata, I just want parts. 
I, I need the center beam, I need the drive shaft, I need the doors for the roadster, I need the trunk lid, I need this. I need a lot. It's black? It's black. It's, still it's not bad though. 500 bucks. He's getting all these deals, dude. That's now it, man. We have another transmission too. Yeah, now we got another transmission, that's it. And honestly, the engine doesn't look that bad either. They said it doesn't run, Those but... Six. Yep. They said it doesn't run, but I, I don't believe that. I bet you if we throw a battery in, it'll run. And once it run, once I can confirm it runs, this thing's worth 500 bucks. So we're going to get this thing off the trailer. We're going to get it on the lift, and we're going to start looking at it. You ready for the ride of your life, partner? So turn it as soon as I... Yeah, turn it all the way and hit Alex's car. This thing doesn't have insurance, so be careful where you drive it. Ugh. Dude, it looks pretty good, actually. I'm actually really pumped on this purchase, so we're just gonna clear out the shop real quick and get to work. So a big reason why I love Florida is this. So this is a 92 Miata, right? There is absolutely no rust on this car. Like usually, if this is a Connecticut car, this lower control arm is absolutely mangled with rust. The subframe looks disgusting, the upper control arms, and like, other than like having some little saw or whatever that is, um, these things look really fresh. I mean, even the exhaust has no holes. Yeah, she's like a tiny bit rusty, but like, it's just like surface rust. There's no rot or anything crazy like that. So I'm pretty pumped on this purchase. This is $100 right here. Um, the frame rails are great. We're gonna be scrapping the shell anyways because we don't need it. And I think we're ready to tear this thing apart. My goal is to have this car completely gutted today. Um, but before I do that, I need to go pick up Courtney's car because we decided to get a little too wasted last night. But we are responsible adults and we got an Uber and we left her car at Buffalo the Wildling. So, you ready? You need to buy this next. By what? Look, you're already looking for the next one. No, 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 no. Dude, that thing is sick. Go to Corbett with that sucker? <laughs> if I just had eight grand to waste, I would totally go buy that, but not anymore, folks. Before we start working on the Miata, I need to go to Harbor Freight. I'm finally getting one of those tables for like subframes and stuff because I always steal HPs and they always need it back. So I'm just Don't gonna go ahead. Jack. No, I'm gonna keep using that one. I yeah. like that one, okay. but <laughs> we're at Harbor Freight now and then we're gonna go buy something for the house, which I'm stoked on. I'm so mad I had one of these, but I left it outside like an asshole and it got ruined. So 270 bucks down the fucking drain here. All right, guys, so I have been doing a lot of driving today. You probably can't even see me, but you'll be able to see me in one second. So me and Courtney, we love to play pool together, and really the only places that have pool tables are either bars or billiards. Billiards is cool, but everyone smokes in there, and I just don't like cigarette smoke and stuff, so we usually go to bars. When you go to bars, you tend to drink a lot. When you drink a lot, you tend to spend over $100. So I made the executive decision to buy a pool table for the house. So we we just cleaned out the garage. We have a pool table now. Thinking we can have like a little bar set up here. We can start to have parties, huh? We're gonna be partying up, dude. We got the pool table now. Sadly, we can't really play too much because we need to go work on the Miata and we need to get that thing apart, so. Sad days. I would love to just drink and play pool all night, but fuck them. All right, so we are finally back at the shop. It's already like 8.30, 9 o'clock, so I don't think I'm gonna be posting tonight. Hey, we but gotta get going because I wanna be here all night. <laughs> we do gotta get going. We still have a full car. The first thing I wanna do is I just wanna take this hood off because it's absolute junk. Um, I want to see if this engine runs because if this engine runs, I can put it on an engine stand, put this thing for sale. That's $500 in my pocket right there. What do you think of my new Miata, dude? Let's fucking gut it and it, rage it. It's pretty clean, right? What do you think about the thing that's at the house? <gasps> I don't know. Oh, you don't know, dude. Don't know. Let's just say well, we're I turning. You, I saw you came came here with the trailer. Well, let's I just was... say we're turning the garage into a sick hangout spot. Oh, Slowly but surely. <laughs> yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna put the head cam on. We're gonna get the fuck to work. All right, guys. So we have a Miata. The goal is to get this Miata completely stripped because we don't need the shell. We just need parts. And I spent 500 bucks, so I want to get my money back. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's get to work. Let her fall! Or not. If anyone wants a hood, it's free. I mean, no. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna take the battery out of the E36. I'm pretty confident that this thing's gonna run. He said after he got into the accident, he drove it home and then just never started it again. So I just assume that the battery's that, holy shit, are these terminals tight? 
not tight enough for me. <laughs> okay. Come on, bitch. How much did you pick up? 500. Really? Yeah. Dude, it was on the marketplace for $600 for five months. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, you've seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> Every, dude, 5,000 people have seen this car. I guarantee you at least 20 people that watch my channel has seen this oh, car. Yeah. And people, I mean, this is a money maker. So people are just sleeping on it. Yeah. All right. I wonder if this battery can be recharged. Oh, All right, dude, let's see if this fucker runs. Watch it just start up. I'd be so amazed. Where's the key? Oh. All right, here we go. Yo. 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 It's a little smoky, but thing hasn't been running forever. It's a little bit of a knock. It's not a knock. I guarantee you it was just something hitting the crank pulley. Huh? I bet you it was just something hitting the crank pulley because it's fucking crashed. There's no knock. Well, you just, just clouded me the fuck out. Well, you gotta think, this thing's been sitting for over a year. That is not knock. That's an exhaust leak, dude. Lift the, lift the right now. It, th part of that's an exhaust leak. I can hear it under the car. Okay, yeah, we got the AC on. All I know is this car runs. We are good. I feel confident in this engine. Keys go over there. Welcome. Cause we're taking this bad bitch apart. All right, let's get to fucking work. I actually hate these clips. These clips are so annoying. Yeah, you fucking. Hey man, I just had to confirm that it was running. And it is, it is running. Cool. 12. No, it's a 12. No, there's no way that's a 10. I bet me money, it's a 12. I got the 12 right here. I guess I'm gonna save this because people need these sometimes, mass airflow sensors. This is junk. Whoever put screws in this is a fucking asshole. When you're trying to make money, make sure you take everything. I like this piece because it actually shows all of the stuff. Some of these, the sticker fades off. So, I mean, that thing could be potentially worth 15 bucks right there. And I'm real stinge, so I like to take the fuses too. You know what I mean, dude? This main fuse, they're worth like 15 bucks right here. Easy. Am I really gonna sit here and take this now? Dude, we gotta start out of power. My counter, my counter's gonna start at any time. What, you're already hurt? Yeah. You took the truck off, dude. When, I, when the trunk fell, I caught it like this, the point. Oh, <laughs> so you're bleeding. That's awesome. Mechanics glove, sponsor me. I'm feeling lazy. I kind of just want to like drop the subframe and hope for the best. Like I haven't even really done much. I took the air box off and messed with the fuse box. <laughs> this thing's all dented in, dude. I wish I was strong enough to just fucking throw this thing back, but I'm not. Couldn't say this one, sorry. Yeah, no, I already knew it was busted. I was pretty bummed when I saw that, honestly. Whee! Oh my god, dude, it was so brittle, it just fucking exploded. Wow, that was sick. That's why you always get the GoPro running, you know? It sucks to edit, but like when funny stuff happens like that, you're good. All right, I'm bored. I just want to fucking drop the subframe and stand on the engine and just jump on it. It'll come out eventually, right? I'm just gonna pop all the wheels off. These bitches are probably 21s, betcha. Yep. All right, sound of my people, here we go. Dude, these are literally brand new tires. So crazy. All right, all the wheels are off. I'm looking at 250 bucks right there. That's half of the car's value, baby. Uh, 19, uh, big, big, big. This is the junk fender, so fuck them. Gave me enough to do the door. Four 12s right there and then the pin. Guess I should have done the pin first.
Cool. Yeah, I got it. Sick. One door down, baby. This one's mine. No one asked for the doors because I'm keeping them. Huh? <laughs> And the door panels. You guys didn't have the door panels. I don't want tan. I'm pumped on these too. I don't have these for the blueberry. I looked these up on eBay. Um, the ones that said you knows are Roadster. I think they're like 130 bucks. Almost bought them. Super happy I didn't because I'm happy with the ones that say Miata. So I'm gonna take these off real quick. There you go. Get her back. Hell yeah. I don't think that thing will ever sell, but I guess we'll keep it around. Fuck it. It looks good. Yours went. Remember that. What do you mean it went? In the thing of black one? Oh yeah, yeah. No, it did go bad. You are right. It is it's kind of rare though. Does this just pop up or is this like glued on? Ooh. Yeah, let me just, ooh, I got a prior right here. Go from I would go from in. What about right here? Yeah, there we go. Try to do this on now. Holy crap. What is there, like a clip under it? There we go. 3M tape, really good. Wow, we didn't do too much damage to it. I mean, it doesn't matter because I'm keeping it anyways. All right, so Marcus is going crazy overboard. Marcus, how long have you been up there, dude? Tell me. A, a good two hours. Marcus has been pulling every single thing you could possibly imagine that is in a Miata from the interior it's actually insane like we just have a bunch of stuff chilling right here we got a whole other like miata parts room over there so if you guys the levers dude's taking off the gas the in the trunk lever no thank god like they're like telling me to like take the glass out and stuff like glass is Marcus is like, let's cut the quarter panels out. Like, I'm not trying to fucking make every penny off this car. I'm just trying to make my money back, get some parts. Like, these corner panels, if you really wanted to, though, you could overlay these onto another Miata and make over fenders. But then you gotta like tack weld them and shit. Well, like, I don't, I don't like that idea. So I started working down here. This is the piece we need right there. We also need that drive shaft. Um, I couldn't really get it out because this thing is like a spacer and there's like a little um, gap right here that like makes it stuck. So I just couldn't get that. Brought this from the house because I'm so sick of like working around a car and everything, having to run back there. So it's just gonna be nice just to be able to put tools right here and just kind of work right. What are you throwing, dude? Dude's wild. But I mean, this Miata is gonna be 100% stripped tonight and I'm pumped because I just want this shell out of here. I'm gonna, so this was a family car. They owned this car for about 12 years and their whole family came out to like say goodbye to it and everything and like the mom was like, don't worry, like dad did this, like this wasn't my fault because it was her car. It was, it was kind of weird, but um, I, guess, I guess it was cute. So I'm just gonna send a bunch of pictures of this thing stripped on the trailer, fucking bringing it to the scrapyard. <laughs> Like, thanks for the Miata. Out here. Yeah, but no, they, they were a nice family, but what is that? Sick, dude. Someone's really going to pay a dollar for that thing. <laughs> Five bucks. Look at all this junk. Dude, we can make your Miata absolutely show. We can make the blue one show quality, show quality. Like, you pop the trunk, everything's in there. You pop the But everything already is in there. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Make the roadster show now. Yeah, no, the roadster interior does need a little help. I wish that stupid cluster hood was good, but anyways, we're gonna keep working. We're gonna start to get the subframes down soon whenever Marcus decides to stop pulling pennies out of the trunk. We'll be good to go. So I'm just about ready to drop the rear subframe. We only have one bolt on this side and one bolt on that side. You know what? I just bought one of these tables, these jack tables from Harbor Freight for 160 bucks. I had to get the smaller one because they didn't have the thousand ton like this. So I said, fuck it. Didn't end up needing it anyways because I guess this one still works. So that's cool. So I can return that tomorrow. So it's not that big of a deal. Mark is still up there working. No, I'm staying right Oh, you're just chilling now? <laughs> But I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna drop this sucker right now. Let me just move this gun so it doesn't get squished. Okay, let's see. What are we working with here? Oh, that stupid bolt. Huh? Huh? Yeah, it's fine.
I decided I'm, I decided to take the I beam out with or the power plant frame. That's what it's called. The PPF. Fuck. Took me five years of working on me on Remember that. <clears throat> All right. So that seems to be good. Now we're just gonna go ahead. We're gonna lower this onto that. Just like so. Popped off the lift a little bit, but that's fine. And now we're gonna go wanna boom. Where are you? Right there. Wada boom, wada, wada, bang! All right, that one's out. Chuck that to the side. All right, and then wada. Ooh, I can't see. Where are you? Right there, sucker. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come, oh, you're up. All right, now we should just be able to lower this thing a little bit. Subframe should come out with it. There it goes. It's not really coming out even, but that's fine. Yeah. We got a pan over there because the drive shaft's about to come out of the transmission and it's probably gonna go everywhere. So we're just gonna lower this. Oh, no leak so far. And the drive shaft is officially out. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna lower a little more. And now we have the subframe, the rear subframe out of the car. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, don't follow me, baby. All right, Marcus, you're going back up. Still haven't done this. I've been trying to get this fucking intake out, but it's squished between the radio. Oh, Marcus is getting up. You, what are you doing? Dude, 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 dude. You fucking asshole. Damn it, Marcus. Damn it. Oh my God. Hey, at least it was a junk car. Holy fuck, dude. This has, this has never happened to me before. Well, the day I got my lift, Someone said this was gonna happen and it was not my fault. I got it on camera. That's, dude, the head cam is sick. Holy fuck. How are we gonna get this back on? Just lower it. Oh yeah, I guess you're, I guess you're right there. Let's get the subframe out. Holy fuck, dude. I guess this was a big that scared the hell out of me. Wow, I'm taking a picture of this. This is sick. Almost killing Marcus and Chris counters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your counter is fucking negative now, dude. Okay, ready? Oh my god. Oh. No, okay, that's not oh. gonna work. Alright, just lower it down now, I guess. Oh my god, we're fucked. <laughs> we're fucked here. I'm gonna help. Let's all lift. Hold on, hold on. All right, three. Let it down, let it down. Let it down, we'll oh. just hold it. Oh, whatever. I got the easier job. All right, guys, well, you saw the shit show. I'm happy I recorded it. And um, we'll be back when this thing's back on the lift and we can actually start to drop the sub front subframe. Just start cutting the front off. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> All right, guys, well. It is four in the morning now. This car is completely stripped, okay? Marcus, Alex, big shout out to you guys. You guys helped me so much tonight. They actually just left as well. It's literally four in the morning. Um, I, while I was gutting this, Alex was painting parts for this car and Marcus put this interior all back together. My GoPro is practically dead and it's running out of memory, but I'll show you guys more of this in the morning. We stacked all the subframes right here. I am, I'm catching up to Tommy with all these subframes. It's getting kind of ridiculous. We put the engine on the engine stand. We got this junk engine that no one ever fucking wants on the table jack and I kind of just Tried to clean up, organize everything. I mean, I still have a lot to do and stuff, but we busted ass. I'm sorry that I missed yesterday. I really didn't want to, but as you guys can see, it didn't go to waste. We were nonstop grinding all day, and I just literally just didn't have time to put the camera down or put a tool down and just edit. And